Welcome back to a review and today I'm going to take a look at Keyframe Pro, at least I'm using the Keyframe Pro version. It's a video player software that also lets you annotate and so I'll show you the details but it's a really cool tool for critiquing. And if you are interested in critiquing, there is also a video about Screencast-O-Matic that records your desktop. It's really cool as a combination with Keyframe Pro if you are in an educational sector and you wanna record and do things, especially animation critiques. But let's go to the desktop and let me show you Keyframe Pro. As always, there's a link in the description for the website. You can see all the options of Keyframe Pro and Keyframe MP, what is missing and what is not there, where you can have your purchase options. It gives you explanations about the software. You have tutorials. They are scripts. As you can see here, I'm using Keyframe Pro. Here's an overview and again, what you have and you can check in here what are the differences. And there are also other tools that are recommended and available. So you might wanna try out Keyframe MP. It's much cheaper if you don't need all the options, but that's totally up to you. So as you bring up, I brought out the movie here, uh, an old clip that I did a long time ago. So this is your basic player layout. You have your volume that you can change here. You have your play and stop and go frame by frame or go back to the beginning. You can loop or not loop. You have all kinds of options there, including a annotation tool or not. You have the details of what it is, the range, and same thing here with different options to change your sources and all that you wanna turn off. So for me, the basics that I use, and I have hotkeys for this, where I can turn annotation on off with a hotkey. And then once I have this, I can draw and also hotkey to turn everything off. So I can have something like this, where I maybe go frame by frame, which might not be the best thing since it's a locked off pigeon moment here. But how about this? You go from here to here to here, and it shows you these annotations frame by frame. And I can immediately turn this off. So as I go backwards, all those drawings that I had, you can see there's a, I can use my tool here, my other tool. You can see that whenever you drew something, there is a highlight in terms of a drawing tick that shows you what happened. So if you can look at those three, my hockey, they're all gone. This is all deleted. This is the primary way that I use uh, this tool for critiques. So you can play back, you can annotate, and then that's it. But on top of that, of course, if you have something where you want to show off, well, there's this, there's that, and maybe you want to show off the spacing in between, you can turn on onion skinning before and after. And I like that it's also highlighted on the frame that you want. So you can have some interesting effects with that. Of course, you can change the color at any point and you can see lots of color options in terms of accuracy and the details. So I can go back in here and say, ah, oh, this and then that and then that and so on and go back and forth and you can turn this on or off. That being said, you can have, let's say I say hello, didn't like the O, you also have undo and redo options. So you don't have to delete the whole thing. If you do have this, you can hit X to delete that frame. But again, if I do a drawing here, move forward, do a drawing here and hit X, it's only going to delete it on that frame. So if you go back, the other one is still here. So again, you have options with that. And you can also clear everything like this. This is what I have on a hotkey. You can have free drawing tools. You can also just erase what you see here. You can type and you can change the colors, of course, that's an option. You also have arrows in case you want to point at something else. Just like Screencast-O-Matic, if I turn on my drawing tools, I'm gonna to change the color so it's not confusing. This is the software on top of what I'm using here and it has the arrow tool as well. You can see there's a slight difference, but if you're interested in Screencast-O-Matic, a link in the description with more information about that. I'm gonna turn this off and stick with this and go back to freehand. Now, on top of that, besides help and licensing, you got your tools, so you can have your range timeline. This is very similar to RV, if anybody is familiar with this. You can turn this on and off. Of course, the playback options, all of this with hotkeys. Project details like this, what you have, so you can import multiple movies. Media info, just in case you need it, of course. And the console, which was put into the other corner. I'm gonna move <laughs> oh, over here and you can see it's over there and it's locked in that corner for some reason. You have all your bookmarking tools, cut bookmarks, copy paste, remove a lot of options for that. The range and the range you can also set here. You can move this in and say only this section here, which then you can loop or select. Right click on this, you got rage and reset playback for everything. 
and other options here. And I'm gonna go up a bit because you can't see everything here. Time code, seconds, and display. So for me, I have frame numbers, not seconds, I prefer this. It also shows you the frames per second here. So if you go, let's go over here. You have the viewer, single, horizontal, vertical, if you have multiple ones, again, annotation tools, and then you have the size, original, half, you can go small if you want. I'm gonna also turn this off again. So I'm gonna go video size, original size, which is massively big. So resizing options like this if you want to make this big enough. You have pan and zoom toggle and reset, which are a bit cumbersome. I wish the pan and zoom would be through a number. I can hit one, two, three, four, and it would kind of zoom in, kind of more like RV does. That's my only bit of a gripe. You have, of course, rotations. You have horizontal flips vertical flips and so on, turn this back off. And then you have also snapshots. So you can see all of this. Audio wise, you can have scrubbing, which is great. So I have scrubbing on. So if you go here and you play this, you're probably hearing this and you can, you can scrub through. This is really great for a lip sync. Now, what you don't see is not a waveform. There's nothing really with the sound here that you can see. So in the options here, you have the scrub, increase and decrease and mute, but that's kind of it. But what you do have is the speed. So you have normal half quarter decrease and increase. So let's say plus and minus, you can have also the custom speed in here. But if I play this and I want to hit plus, you can see, and I'm gonna use the other tool down here. Oh, <laughs> it was set to arrows. Here, here, you can see, I'm gonna turn this off again. You can see how I can change the speed. Four times as fast, two, one, as in like me clicking once, but it's 25%, 50% and so on. You can't go in here and just click on this to change it. So there's no direct change of your speed. You have to kind of go in here and you do custom or blah, 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 go back in there. That being said, you got your all your options here, forward, frame stop, go to start and loop, stepping and scrubbing and also auto play. And in the edits, again, you change your range, the project settings. And of course you have all the preferences. And here you can have all your caching size, all your options, especially open media, new players. So you have multiple movies open and not just all in one. But what I use a lot is keyboard. So these are my hotkeys. So in here, I change some of the settings and annotation tools. If that's what you need, you have export network and advanced options. And in file, you got your import, new project, open import, and so on, save out, export, reason files, and so on and so on. There are a ton of options. And of course, in here, you can go onto the website and also link in the description with that site so you can check it out. Keyframe Pro is a paid version that I'm using and it's well worth your money. Now, there are other tools out there where you can play things and you can play things frame by frame. And sometimes you can even annotate like Screencast-O-Matic has an annotation tool. But with Screencast-O-Matic especially, it freezes the frame and you can only draw on that frame. And I've gone through a lot of tools finding something where you can draw on the movie on a frame by frame basis. So you can almost animate on your movie to explain things if you are in the animation critique feedback back mentor teacher business and I think the combination of Screencast-O-Matic link in the description and Keyframe Pro is a really powerful combination so that you can critique quickly customize your settings customize the desktop have a webcam yes or no export this out and then upload or send it to your students however you want to do this so and I've been using Screencast-O-Matic for a long time and actually by now Keyframe Pro as well they're very stable nothing really freezes I don't really see any crashes the only thing if your movie is up for a long time Keyframe Pro just the RAM just, it just hogs it and it just gets bigger and bigger. That might slow down your machine after a while. And the only thing with Screencast-O-Matic is the processing time of a green screen might even slow down your machine a lot as it's trying to put all that stuff together. So check out the review of Screencast-O-Matic, all the pros and cons about that, but it's pretty much everything pro except the green screen. And Keyframe Pro, since it's using RV, to me at least as a kind of a inspiration, I wish some other tools and options from RV uh, would have been included, like the ease of use for the zoom tool and so on. But, so they're a little nitpicky things that I would change. But as a whole, it's really, really cool, very robust. And for annotation and drawings and frame-by-frame -frame critiquing, it's absolutely fantastic.
Speaking of fantastic, you, you are fantastic. If you're still watching this, of course, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe at any time. Hit the bell button to get all the notifications because I do upload a lot. And other than that, I think that's it. Link in the description, all the information, comments are open. Let me know what you think. If you found a better tool, if you're using this and you feel like this is cool and you got your tips and tricks, I don't know, whatever you want to say, let me know. Comments are open. And other than that, that is it for this review. Thank you for watching.